Yeah, that was the other set of eyes and ears uh, over there helping uh, uh, Captain Havlick out. Yes. We were kind of like an odd couple, the Renda and the Gila. And we went into this, and uh, there were, you know, whoa, wait, wait. And as we moved along, we, we closed, and we got closer and closer, and we found ourselves actually able to work together. And, and whereas maybe practice never made perfect, practice made for good progress and safe progress. And so that learning and the understanding that came along with the patients paid dividends. We made it to know. You know, to everybody. You know, and are there, were there some rough spots? Oh, there absolutely there were rough spots. And I've said, you know, one of the more challenging components to me wasn't so much the ice. There were a lot of people around me that understood the ice far better than me. And I was a newbie, am a newbie, but it was the human element, the human component. Uh, of overcoming, you know, the ability of being able to, to some of the most simple things to communicate between the Healy and the Rand and back. And I... We've been 15 minutes in the ice and we're stuck. Now here we are in the middle of the Bering Sea, stuck. All right, it's not fast and furious in the ice, things happen slow. Here comes the uh, Ely back down our starboard side. There she is. All right. This is a piece of work, even by my standards. Here she comes. In. All right, the Healy just made her pass, and we are starting to move ahead. There we are, stuck in the ice again. It's a nighttime show. Healy's turned around, coming back. Day two, heavy pack ice, feet are thick. Coming into a section, it's going to be about 45 miles. That's going to be a long slog. Station keeping parameters, five knots, three cables, 1,800 feet astern of the Healy. Captain, Mikhail discussing. We have just broke free for the third time tonight, this morning. At same stand right now, progress seems reasonably good. However, we have yet to get into what we anticipate will be the thicker ice. Run to out. I said that for the last two, three days, two days, whatever, was a, um, he's, he experienced different spots with different thickness of the ice with different ice resistance in the channel. His speed, he uh, he set certain RPMs. On these RPMs, if, it, if uh, resistance increases, his speed reduces. What they have to do is reduce their speed accordingly, watch for our speed, reduce their speed accordingly, and shorten the distance. In the meantime, here we are, back at the office. Five dots, heavy ice, lots of frustration over here. Uh, but we're heading toward Nome. Uh, so the end game is if the folks of Nome get their fuel oil, it doesn't matter. We can all look back, dissect everything, what everybody did right and wrong, and next time we'll get it right. The first time, nobody expected it to go smooth. 
pilot Healy, over. Roger, go ahead. We're up to eight knots. We're going to start slowing down. Five knots, three cables. And... Roger that. We're under pressure. You can hear the ship. This one's so hard that the, the uh, paint is actually peeling off onto the ice. A little fuzzy. Being that it's minus 22 degrees out, I can't get outside. But, uh, this is a meter and a half thick ice. Uh, the ridge, the ice is moving from east to west. Uh, it's piling into the side of the hull. You can see the tremendous cracking. Uh, can we increase to five cables in this lighter ice? Roger that. Uh, we'll work on opening to five cables. After seven days of fiddle farting around, we got her dialed in. The Admiral's over here, the Commander is over here, and we're, we got her dialed. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Eugene, it seems like the two ships have found rhythm. They're working in harmony. Speeds are adjusting up and down. It's like any couple. Rough spot, and they've got her down. Got the Russians working on the Russian side, the Americans on the American side, and nobody in between. This, this is poetic. This is history. This part right here that nobody will see. Get in, and whatever happens after that. But right now, this is kind of the apex, the pinnacle. Cooperation, the learning, the understanding, the patience, which been, has been the most valuable commodity out here to date. There's been some very difficult times on the bridge here. I'm sure there's difficult times on the bridge of the Healy. All right, here we are off the coast of Nome. off the coast of Nome and literally I could see the, the church steeple and it's not over until you know until we park it until we park it so <laughs> my apprehension my guarded optimism didn't go away one iota until the orange marker that she put on the snow we pulled up right there I'll stop and, and that's when the moment for me and you know I have to say Beverly two times in my career I felt such professional satisfaction accomplishment one was when I graduated from the Maritime Academy and that was a four-year stretch, and, and that was, and this one was when we got here. All stopped. It was a week-long stretch. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. a week-long stretch. Yeah, it sure was. Yeah. yeah.